still with the history of the present illness, you will also want to ask questions about previous similar complaints with questions like, have you had this problem before? Is this the first time you have had this problem? And next, you will ask about what causes the symptoms, what starts the symptoms. You can ask questions like, what seems to cause it? What were you doing when it started? After that, you will move to the exacerbating and relieving factors with questions like, what seems to make it worse or what seems to make it better? Is there anything that makes it makes it worse or is there anything that makes it better after that you can move to as associated complaints that have not yet been mentioned you can depending on what the chief complaint is you can think of some associated symptoms and just give the patient the gist so they can tell you if they have those or not. You can ask questions like, do you have headache, diarrhea, etc.? Do you feel dizzy, nauseous, itchy, etc.? And all these depend, of course, on the type of complaint you are dealing with. And after that, you will finish this section with the patient's explanation of the complaint. Just give the patient the opportunity to tell you anything else they might want you to know. You can just ask the question, any other symptoms or any other problems or what other symptoms do you have? And then listen to the patient. Once you have your patients, after the past medical history, you move to the family history. In this section, you will need information about the disease history in the family. You can ask the question, is there a history of cancer, diabetes, whatever condition is relevant to the present situation? You Next, you will ask medical status of the parents. First, you will ask if they are alive. If the answer is yes, you have some follow-up questions. How old are they? Do they have any health problems? And if the answer is no, you show your sympathy. I am sorry to hear that. And then you come up with your follow-up questions, like how old were, was he or she when he or she passed away. And after the parents, you will move to the medical status of the brothers and sisters. Again, first question, do you have any brothers and sis or sisters? If the answer is yes, you come up with the follow-up questions. How old are they? Do they have any health problems, etc.? And once you are done with the brothers and sisters, you move to the children. Simple question again. How do you have children? If yes, then you go with the follow-up questions. How old are they, etc. 